Hey hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series. So this is a game that I'm going to be playing a little bit of. I'm not too sure how many episodes I'm going to be doing of it. Um, maybe once we get to a certain point or something. But I am playing Game Dev Tycoon. So as you can see I've already started a thing called Fun Guys. Um, but that's one that I've just been playing by myself. But we're going to start brand new and fresh here. Um, so yeah let's go. Basically if you haven't seen this game before um, this is my other world. Um, but if you haven't seen this game, you, you're a game developer, and you're trying to develop your games, get lots of money, and become famous in your game design. Alright, welcome. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create the best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Yeah, there you go. That's basically what you do. Uh, before you start your adventure, you have to give your c upcoming company a name. Oh boy, this is this is the big this is the zinger right here. Okay, let's go. Let's just go Pac-Man, Pac-Man Inc. That's good. That's good. Oops, we gotta capitalize that. I. Right. It's gotta be professional. Pac-Man, Pac-Man Inc. And my player name will be uh, Luke, cause that's my name. Oops. If I can actually spell, there we go. And I am a a boy. No, a boy. There you go. And I will have, I'll just look like that, I guess. <laughs> I'll have a sweater vest, why not? There we go. Unlock hints? Um, do I want hints? Uh, no. I think we'll play without hints. Alrighty, so here we are. I'm in a garage. I'm just like in my mom's garage or something. Or maybe my garage. There's some Pong in the background. So to start, I just click on myself and develop a new game. This will be the first game. Um, let's see what kind of topics we have. Okay, we got school, medieval, post-apocalyptic, and werewolf. Hmm, what do we want our first game to be? I don't know, man. Maybe let's do... I feel like medieval would be, like, a good first, like, game to make. I don't know. And we'll have it... Um, action-adventure, medieval. Oh, wait. Oh, I can only have it one. Okay, never mind. We'll do, uh, adventure. And we'll have it on the... G64, I guess? Is that a computer? Yeah, I guess that's a type of computer. Alright, it will be called... It'll be like Skyrim, except like... The very first Skyrim game. Or not the very first... The very first Elder Scrolls. That's what it'll be called. But not that. It'll be like that, I'm trying to say. Um, We'll make it... We'll call it... The... We'll call it the... Elder? What's the opposite of Elder? Youngling? Chronicles... Chronicles. There you go. Next. And we have uh, we start with 70k cash, and this game costs 25k. That's quite a bit. So it'll be um, 2D graphics. It'll be like a little 2D graphic Skyrim game. It'll be amazing. Start development. Let's go. All right, we're developing. This is this is the good part. Okay. Um, so now this is our stage one. We can figure out what's What's the priorities? Engine, gameplay, or story and quest? So I think probably engine could be on the down low. And gameplay and story and quest will probably be really important. So we'll have those like up there. Maybe the engine could be a little bit higher. Uh, I think that's good. I'll have it like that. And slowly you kind of level up. Like you level up your character. You level up different kinds of parts of making a game. And uh, you get better at making games, basically. Okay, so we got dialogue. Probably pretty high. Level design, artificial intelligence. Um, AI could probably be pretty high. Level design, pretty equal. They're all going to be pretty equal. Alright, here we go. Our first game is coming along nicely. The Youngling Chronicles. Alright. It's nothing. We, we just have to sit and wait. Alright, so we'll have basic sounds in uh, 2D graphics. And the sound can be, like, pretty crap. World design can be amazing and graphics can be amazing. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay. I'm losing money very fast. <laughs> I gotta get this game out quick or else I might be broke. Is year one, month three. Okay, we gotta fix the bugs. We gotta wait a little bit. And these like orange dots add to our technology and design. And we get this research, which we can use to study other things to level up our games and stuff. And get new topics and whatnot. All right, got all this levels up a little bit. Okay, let's release the game. While we do that, we just have to sit and wait. All right, the first reviews for the game, The Young Chronicles, came in. Okay, we got, we got. This, this is, these are the reviews. It's a four. Fudge. Not bad. Not good. 
I'm, I'm screwed. Crap. Usually over five is like pretty good. Under five is like mm, not that good. It is my first game. It is my first game. Okay, five. That's not bad. Funnest stages. All right, all right. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's my very first game. Pac-Man Inc. A newcomer in the game industry has just released the first game, The Youngling Chronicles. The game has had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious that what Pat Pac-Man Inc. will deliver in the future. All right. Let's see here. This is our units. This is how many people have bought it on the corner and how much money we get. Sold 2,200 units in the first week. That's pretty good, I think. I'd say that is pretty good. Look how much money we're getting. Let's develop a new game. Uh, maybe we said research. Oh yeah, so research. We can get custom game engine once we get uh, 50 research points. Um, we'll get a new topic maybe. Hmm. I would not mind maybe an alien game or a game dev game. That's funny. Um, let's do. Let's research aliens. I feel like while we wait for this to rack up some money, I feel like that would be a good thing. All right, we're getting lots of money from the Youngling, Youngling Chronicles. Dang, this was like it had really bad reviews, but it wasn't that bad. All right, I researched the topic aliens, and uh, I guess we'll start developing a new game while this other one starts going. Actually, maybe we should do a game report on it. Yeah, let's do a game report since it seems pretty good. I'll probably make sequels it, to it in the future because um, you unlock that feature. All right. There we go. Got a game report. Medieval and adventure is a great combination. Level design seems to not be to seems to not be very important. Okay, I thought it would be, but I guess it's 2D, so maybe not. All right, let's make a new game. It will be an alien uh, action or adventure. Hmm, or maybe an RPG. Hmm, that might be good. Hmm, maybe I'll just do action. Let's do action. Let's try that. And we'll do it for the G64 because we get a bigger market share. Oh, but the dev cost is way more. Hmm. Maybe we should do one for the PC. I don't know. Let's do it for the PC just because it's, like, way cheaper. I'm trying to kind of save up money at the moment um, until we can, like, afford way better things. So we'll call this um, the attack of the Zog... Zogorons. Zogorons. Yep. I just came up with that. That's amazing. And we'll have it 2D graphics or text based? Hmm. Maybe text based will be good. Hmm. We'll keep it 2D graphics. We'll keep it that. We'll keep it that. Just to be safe. Alright. So. Aliens action. Story and quest can probably be about the same as engine, I'd say. And gameplay could be pretty high. Maybe story and quest could be a little bit higher. Hmm. I think we'll do it like that. That'll be good. Okay, we start. Oh, he's scratching his head. He doesn't really know what to do. All right. Attack of Zogrons starts. I think this is good because what I think it starts in like 1985-ish. So like aliens were pretty popular back in the 80s, right? And 90s. All right. So we got 63. Or almost sixty-four thousand dollars in sales, and we almost sold and sold nine thousand units. That's pretty good. All right, we're doing pretty good here. We're kind of losing money like really fast. That might be a problem. Um, recent market studies should suggest that the Go Govador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Dang it! Um, consumers prefer the lower price, great availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Well then, experts say that. This might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Okay, I probably should have made it for the G64 then. That's alright, that's alright. Okay, Aliens Action, um, AI probably pretty high, level design pretty high, and dialogue can be lowish. I think. That's probably good. I don't know, maybe we'll do it like that. Okay, that seems good. Alright. Doing all these things, lots of bugs. Lots of bugs I'm noticing. That's okay, we're getting lots of research points as well. And we'll have these two things that we had before. I think the only thing maybe we could have the world design maybe a little bit higher. I don't know. Just as a little bit of a difference. It's kind of hard to um, get the specifics of this because you can't really get it very specific of what you want. I don't know. Alright, here we go. Attack Zogarons. 
see how we do. We're we're about to run out of money, so we better release this pretty quick. Okay, we got a new record for our blue, for our technology. Okay, we're almost on level 2 on some things, too. Alright, we're doing pretty good. Please release this game because, uh, and I hope it's good. Because... I almost have no money. In two months, I will have no money. Meh. What? I spent a lot of time on this game, man. I spent a lot of money. I spent like $30,000 on this game. This, I was a lot back in the 80s. That was like $100,000 now. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. Okay, Aliens in Action is a great combination. I thought so myself. Thank you. Alright, let's see how much money we get. According to rumors, the Japanese company N Ninvendo... <laughs> Ninvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Invento is known for the wildly successful arcade game Dinky King. Alright, this isn't uh, cl any like differences whatsoever. Um, many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what an inv when Ninvento will deliver. Yeah, this must be the 80s then, because I'm pretty sure the NES came out in the early, or late 80s, right? I think so. Alright, we'll do a uh, game report on this, might as well. While we wait, okay, we're racking in the money, pretty good. The first couple, the first few years are kind of difficult. You got to get some fans that'll buy your games and stuff. Okay, the release or the analysis is um, Aliens in Action is a great combination, and story and quests seem to not be important. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I guess we learned that now. Okay, let's start. Let's uh, we could research a new game. Hmm. I don't know. I think we'll just stick what we have. We'll make a new game, our third game, and it will be probably the last one for this episode. It'll be, uh, what did I do? Maybe like, we'll have a school, just to do a school one, might as well. And like a simulation or strategy, maybe strategy. And we'll have it for the G64 because it said it's better. And we will call it learning, learning, because that's what you do at school. One, two, three, A, B, C. All right, that's that's what people do at school, and we have a tech space because it's probably just going to be a point-and-click game. All right, research that. We got what? What happened to all our money? I think we lost it all. Dang it. Okay. Um, story and quest can be probably really low. Engine and gameplay can be really high. I I hope that's how that works. Uh, okay, just taking <laughs> taking a a strategic route that might end very badly. Okay, we're losing a lot of money as well. We also have to take. We also get a uh, monthly salary taken off, like to pay for rent and whatnot. Um, so, uh, dialogues high, AI maybe high because I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell because maybe high because you got to figure out like what's right and wrong for like when you learn. But it could be low because it could be talking about other stuff. I don't know. We'll do um, level design low and just hope, hope for the best. <laughs> hope for the best. I don't know. I hope it goes good. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. Okay, uh, today Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release their new home gaming console called Tez early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and uniquely designed controller. Nice, that's pretty cool. I like how they like copy things but change the name. That's pretty legit. Um, do we need basic sounds? Mm, I guess so. Sound can, sound can be low, graphics can be high, world design can be like eh. So, like, say, for example, this game, I just want it to be, like, a point-and-click, but I can't really, like, specifically say I want it to be a point-and-click, so, I don't know. That's why it's a bit, a bit, a bit, it's a bit confusing. Anyway. Okay, we're almost out of money. <laughs> Crap. We better make this game pretty quick, man. Okay, we got 40k in sales. That's not as good as our first one, but good enough, good enough. Okay, hurry up. I'm about to run out of money. Please, hurry. Okay, finish. Okay, we got new records on both, I think. Did we? Yes, we did. Alright. Some things could almost get to level 2. By our next game, we'll have level 2. Okay, let's, let's release this, because we're almost out of money. Your bank account is in the red. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50k. But be careful, if your account balance is below 50k, you will go bankrupt and lose, I assume. Crap, okay. Okay, come on. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, ABC, let's go. Okay. 6? Six, 6? That's good. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty decent. Okay, five. Falls a bit short. Okay, that's pretty good. Better better than our past two. Hopefully we get a seven. A six. Okay, this this should get some good revenue. Let's uh get a new game as soon as possible just so we can get some money. 
let's do a like werewolf uh adventure hmm rpg maybe i'm not sure maybe action and we'll have it for the g64 and we will call it the night before um the the night before the <laughs> The night before the werewolves came. And it'll be based off of that. And it'll be like... Oh look, look how much fun we're having. We'll have a 2D graphics. How much fun we're having the day before. Oh my god, I'm actually about to like lose all my money. Alright, we'll have uh, engine low, starting quest like... Oh wait, what does that mean? Does that mean it's bad? Yeah, okay. I think it means it's bad. I'll put it like none then? I, I'm hoping this means it's bad. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And we'll have that about equal. That looks good. That looks about good. I don't know. You think you want the story in the quest for an action game to be, like, good? But maybe in the 80s they wanted something different. Okay, we now have 34 fans. That's pretty legit, man. Oh, wow. And we have $285. Hi there. I've just finished learning one, learning one two, three ABC, and I am impressed by your talent. I am in the contracting business and we can use your skills like yours. If you ever short on cash, I am, yes, you know, how do you, how can you tell? Just let me know and I will see if I have some work for you, Jason. Alright, thank you very much, Jason. I would, I, I appreciate that. Okay, um, I don't know what to do. Dialogues will probably be pretty low. Level design AI could be good. That could be good. Let's do that. Okay, there we go. Gotta get it working. We gotta, we gotta live in our garage. It kind of smells, but... Maybe someday we can, like, buy some Lysol or something. Okay, the company's sales with a record over 10k units. Nice. It's an important milestone. All right. That is pretty good to know. Okay, we're actually getting some good monies now. That game was, like, perfect, apparently. Um, okay, that seems good. We probably don't need good sound. World design could probably be good. Um, that's good. All right. And then when this, when this is done, we could probably do a few game reports on... Uh, on the past few games we did, just because we have enough money to kind of take a little bit of time off. Um, we could probably research some th things too. We could possibly make our own engine, but I'm just going to wait maybe a little while to do that. Or maybe not. I don't know. Okay, today the new game platform, Tez by Nintendo, has been released. Sweet! That is pretty cool, but they're kind of like my competition. Oh, why the... Okay, we just got a bug, but then we, we figured it out. We figured it out. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, dang! We leveled up everything. Nice, man. I hope that I hope that adds to it. Probably not. Let's, uh... Ooh, find contract work. Ooh, look at that. Hmm, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do any of it. Let's try, uh, playtest. We get 30k. That's, like, pretty good nowadays. Um, okay. The first reviews for our game came in. The, <laughs> the night before the werewolves came. That's a pretty clever title. Alright, six. That's doing good. We're doing good. Another f a five. That's pretty good. We got pretty good sales on this one that we just released, learning game. So we should be in the good for the monies. It's basically all based on money, which in the gaming industry is probably pretty true. Oh crap, we might lose this. Uh, it sold 127k, that's sweet. It put us out of debt, so that's good. Night Before the Werewolves is currently selling. Oh, we're not going to make this, are we? Crap, we're so done. See you later. We have to... Aw, oh, crap. <sighs> Too big a job. 14k out of, out of our pockets. Dang it. I see that the contract was not completed in time. Be careful what contracts you accept. Otherwise, those penalties quickly add up. Dang it. Okay, maybe we should wait a little while until we level up a bit more. Don't worry too much, though. I won't hold grudges. If you want to try again, let me know. Usually, I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. All right. All right. So, I think it'll be a good time to end. Let's see if we can research anything new just before. Okay, we can get a new game engine. I think we'll do that next time. Um, so, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Next time, we will continue our gaming development company. Hopefully we can rise to the top of the game and beat Nintendo. Toe. Whatever it's called. I don't know. And, yeah. So, if you enjoyed the series so far, or the this one episode so far, make sure to leave a like, and I will know to make more of these. Dang, we're losing... Oh, wait. We gained fans. Okay, never mind. Um, so, yeah. So, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!